Good afternoon everybody! Well I've got my hands on something beautiful here. It's the Triumph Street Triple 765RS. And I've uh, yeah first impressions are bloody lovely, absolutely bloody gorgeous. Just gonna see what it's like on the old twisties. Ever so smooth. This has got the the quick shifter and auto blipper, so you don't need the clutch, same as my my uh, thousand. So it's got a lovely exhaust note. There's a standard pipe on here as well. But considering this is Euro 5 uh, compliant, got a lovely exhaust note there. Beautiful. Brembo brakes, um, front and rear. It's even got the Brembo rear. I think it's the M50, M50s I believe, on the front. Braided lines. Olin's rear suspension. And show a front uh, forks, which first impressions the brakes are unbelievable. The brakes. Absolutely lovely. I, lo I love the display as well. This, this display here. Absolutely lovely. So yeah. Triumph have been so kind to lend me this for a little while. Just to uh, see what I think really. And like I say, first impressions. Very good, lovely riding position, very comfortable. Definitely have some fun on this. Let's adjust that mirror a little bit. Nice mirrors there on the bars as well. Very, very nimble. Yeah, get on the Nationals in a minute and um, open her up a little bit, see what she's like. I've got it in sport mode at the moment you've got a lot of different rider modes which are selectable by this stick here so um, that's in, tr in sport mode at the moment but you've got like a rain mode uh, track mode sport mode so yeah there's, there's a f quite a bit quite a bit going on there there's also a customizable one as well a custom one Whoa, beautiful. Sounds absolutely gorgeous and this riding position. I could definitely get used to this. It's in the map the map 2020 colours. Self-cancelling indicators as well, I believe, which is handy. That's something I could definitely do with do with. Yeah, I'll pull over in a bit and I'll I'll do a walk around so you can have a have a look around the bike. Yeah, very, very flickable. Here we go. Not so, it's got the blipper. It's got some pull. It's definitely got some pull. Not so, it's in, it's in sport mode. Oh, I don't mess up out. <laughs> oh, the tank as well. I just noticed. You could, it's got a nice little lip, lip there as well to lift your leg, your, your knees under there for when you're cornering and hanging off it. We'll see what that's like in a bit. Would I swap it? Would I swap the, the thousand for it? Oh, I don't know. Ask me in another hour. <laughs> Beautiful. Be a good, this would be a good commuter bike as well. This is this would be a good all-rounder. So I've never, this is the first time I've ever rode a Triumph. This is a three-cylinder. Obviously called uh, the Street Triple. The 765cc, the RS. Got lovely daytime running lights there as well, which are on. 
It's got a lot, a lot, a lot for your money. God, the, the brakes are absolutely unbelievable. Very, very comfortable. Got to watch it doesn't turn him into a, a bit of a hooligan. <laughs> First impressions. Very, very good. Very good. Got a nice, nice matte finish here on the tank. Not sure if I'm a, uh, a lover or not at the moment. I thought that would grow on you, I think. It's a nice fluorescent colour there. Loads of attention to detail here as well, I know, which you got, you know, like a little Triumph emblem logo there and <coughs> the quick shifter and the and the blipper is smooth as silk, smooth as silk, got no complaints there so far. Try a bit of a slower speed, nothing behind. Oh right down to first gear. Absolutely silk, silk smooth. Yeah, I'm impressed. Very, very nimble, flickable. Lovely on the suspension. So it's not the it's not the smoothest of roads. This one, and this is just soaking it all up. Yeah, very nice. No weight on the wrist whatsoever. No weight there. The, the seat is nice and comfortable. And I'll tell you what, what this has got as well, which is unusual. You can actually adjust the, the master cylinder here. Not only do you, can you adjust the brake lever position, but you can adjust the master cylinder there. So that will actually if you like, if you're on the track or and you had a bit of brake fade, you can actually adjust that, which would be very useful. Oh, let's slow down. Oh, these brakes though, loving the brakes, loving the brakes. Twin disc on the front there. I think they're 330, 330 millimeters. And like I say, it's got a Brembo, mono, I think it's monoblock on the rear. The brakes are unbelievable. I just noticed that when I brake down, it did dig in. Maybe the suspension could do with being stiffened up a little bit. It does sort of sink into the road there. Oh, wait. This 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 is a pleasure to ride this. It's a pleasure to ride. I mean I enjoy riding most bikes but there's certain bikes that you ride you, you I don't know you, you just I know what's gonna happen I'm gonna get back off this onto my thousand and be like that's gonna seem strange. A bit like when I had the C B six fifty R when I went out on that. Let's slow down a bit. I got back on mine and was like, oh, that felt really awkward to ride. But what I'll do is I'll pull over and have a little walk around, find a nice little spot, pull over and have a nice little wander around it and I'll show you. Beautiful. There we go. What's that like to find neutral? Very easy indeed, very easy. Side stand, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, there you have it. The 2020 Triumph Street Triple 765, yeah, 765 RS. Sounds beautiful. 
They've even gone to the trouble of putting a lot of carbon fibre tip on the end of the exhaust there. And I love all this bling in here. They don't, they don't mess about. All these nice, sh nice shiny fastenings. Yeah, Brembo rear caliper. Super Corsa tyres there. My Pirelli. Loads of grip there. Lovely braided lines. Lots of, I think they're the, the M50 Brembos. The calipers there. This has got ABS, traction control, all the bling. Lovely daytime running lights there as well. Looks quite mean that. But here's the adjuster here for the for the um, the master cylinder for the front brake. It's for your lever position here. In and out, but you can also, which is unusual, you can adjust that as well. So yeah, lovely. Show a big piston forks on the front. Olin's on the rear. Time for some more fun. Here we go. Oh yeah, the indicator cancelled on its own. I think that's an option that you have to set up, but it's obviously been set up. Which is a very, very useful tool. Lovely village here. Hello, mate. <laughs> he was looking at the bike. Yeah, much appreciated uh, for the test ride. Like I say, I've been looking at these for a long while. If you've seen any other of my videos, you'll you, you know that. But the long and short of it is, I'm not getting any younger. And I, I, I do love the thousand. It's no, not to say that I'm going to change it, but options open, of course. So, yeah, I was desperate to, to ride one and to take one out. Here we go, we've got some twisties here. Like I say, this has got the Pirelli Super Corsa tyres. No trouble there whatsoever. No problems whatsoever. Let's slow down a bit. Ever so smooth. I believe this bike has got 9%, 9% more mid-range torque and power from the last model and this is also the 2020 model this one has got the the auto blipper the quick shifter and the auto blipper for your clutchless shift gear uh, gear shifting which i'll tell you what compared to the thousand my thousand is very smooth the, the thousand i find sometimes very clunky and this one got me down to first gear when i was slowing up no problems whatsoever well, I love the levers. These levers are beautiful. It's nice. It's got a cabled clutch there. It's not a hydraulic clutch. Cable, cable clutch. Loads of attention to detail. Loads. Very, very well, very well made. And like I say, my first impressions are. Yeah. Very, very impressed, Mr. Triumph. Like I say, this is the first Triumph I've ever rode, but it's very smooth, it's not snatchy at all. The only thing I have noticed is it's the brakes, it does want to dive in a bit deep, maybe they want, they want stiffening up a bit. I think I'd have to stiffen that up a bit. But hey, this isn't set to, it's not tailored to, to me, so. Beautiful. Lovely weather as well today. Ideal conditions for for this. Just just effortless to ride. Like I say, it's not performance-wise. I mean, obviously, I've just. I just I've got my thousand so sort of a 
a 200 plus brake horsepower bike absolutely soaking up these bends soaking it up there's no there's no vibration whatsoever through the foot pegs or the bars and i do notice that on mine i'm not dissing mine because i love i love the I, I love a gsx l thousand r but you do you do get that through the bars beautiful listen to that noise oh i love it <laughs> That's the first thing you notice when you when you give it the gas is the the note from the exhaust. Oh! <laughs> uh. <coughs> so yeah, the 2020 Triumph Street Triple RS 765. Let's slow down a tad. It does it. It does seem to egg you on a bit. This eggs you on want you to um, put, put the power on <laughs> here we go hold on well this is in fifth gear no problems there chugging along lovely upright position That's, I mean obviously it's, it's, it's very windy you've got no no uh, fairing no uh, screen sorry to tuck up behind but yeah so naked obviously you're not gonna not gonna get that oh he's gonna spoil my fun he needs to get he needs i need to get out of his way hello mate so, yeah i need to be a bit careful <coughs> so you got on there potatoes don't really want any of them falling falling off there in the road get out of my way you're spoiling my fun <laughs> can't see really either I'll say it's a nice nice bit of road here oh we're going dark all of a sudden what's the dash look like it's got like a nighttime dash here as well the guy was saying the salesman that he said on automatic it flicks into a dark darker screen that's changed there actually isn't it that's just changed. So just as I said that, it's changed. Here we go. No problems overtaking that at all. But yeah, the screen changed then. It's gone into a dark, you know, a night mode. I wonder if it changes back once we get a bit of sun. I'm sure that's changed. Oh there you go, it's just changed back again. So yeah, I was just uh, talking about that. What's that like to hang off? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Smooth as a whistle. Smooth as a whistle, clean as a whistle, smooth as silk, that's the word I'm looking for. This would be good for an everyday bike for commuting, and a nice little ride out for your mates. They'd probably struggle to keep up with you on this thing. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think the front wheel wants to pop his uh, little nose up <laughs> without much effort. I need to calm down. <laughs> calm down. Sounds gorgeous, doesn't it? <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely position. I know I keep saying it, but I feel a bit spoiled, I don't know. I feel, feel... Such an... You, you know, you're just sitting upright. Bolt upright, really. The seat is nice and comfy. 
and you've got kind of like sport bike performance to a certain extent going down into a 40 here yeah. yeah you've got like sport bike performance I don't know what it'd be like once you really get the speed up you'd probably be blown about quite a bit that'd be expected never mind there's probably like a proper wheelie machine as well this I'm not going to have a go Mr. Mr. Officer I'm not going to be doing any of that Ooh. Oh. orgasmic orgasmic it's that little white circle there with a the cross yeah, you know what that means <laughs> Gorgeous! Calm it down! Calm it down! But I love this tank here. I don't know if you can see, but the way it's shaped there, you can latch underneath it a treat. So that would be a good feature for on the track. That would be a very good feature. You're actually holding on with your with your knee with your sort of thighs there. Oh, it's got some grunt. <laughs> Can you hear that note? That exhaust note, though. Bit of a growler. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Slow down. The dash has just flicked across again to that night night mode. I quite like that. Interested to know what the light. I don't really go out on the bike at night, to be honest. Anyway, <coughs> more of a fair weather rider. Tires are ever so grippy. Like I say, this has got traction control, ABS, all of the usual trimmings. All of the usual trimmings. Part of the Euro 5 is all. Everything has to be. Has to be uh, for compliance. front wheel does become very light like I said I've got it in sport mode so maybe the other modes might cut, tone it down well they will the rain mode and the other modes I'll tone it down a bit but there is a track there's a track mode maybe I should flick it into that and have a little go I don't think you can do it while you're riding I will try again no you can't oh, hang on hang on that's that one I believe those are off, press and hold. Oh yes you can. What have we got there? So no, it's this one here, press and hold that one and then use the stick. Oh I dunno. Oh the indicator's going now. I'm gonna pull over and have a look at that. I'm gonna pull over, I'm not gonna do it while I'm riding, just pull in here. Let's pull in here. Like I say, it's very, very nose divey on the on the front brake. So anyway, try again. Press and hold that. Uh, oh, there you go. Rain, rider, track, sport. Well, we've been on sport, so let's try. Let's try track, rider. Oh, you can just press. You can press that. There you go. Sport, track. There we go, right. Just an indicator on here. See if I notice any difference. So yeah, we're in track mode now. 
So yeah, you can you can do it, I think when you're rolling, but <clears throat> so if it started raining now, you could you could, you could flick it into into rain mode. All right, let's go do a circuit around the roundabout here. Indicator on. <clears throat> Actually, we'll go down to the next one. Oh, she's a beaut. Handles like a dream. God. Back round this one. Beautiful. Oh, lovely, lovely. So yeah, my impressions of this, I'm kind of liking it, as you can tell. Would I buy would I buy one? Would I swap the thousand for one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you what though. That'll take some take some thinking about. Not I don't know if that'll take much thinking about, but it would take some thinking about. I'm not blown 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 away by it, but <clears throat> very, very tempted by it. Love the love the blipper. Oh. I can't say I've noticed much difference between the sport and the track mode though. Maybe it's when the revs get up a bit higher. Oh, let's have a look. And get back to the nationals. <coughs> the speed limits all over the place on this road, this route. There we go. Let's try this. Knock it down in the third. Yeah, I don't know really. What it probably, what it possibly does is that could, I don't know if that, if, uh, if it would turn your ABS off or not for track use. But as far as performance goes, it doesn't seem to be much different in the in the track mode. I definitely feel the wind sitting upright. <laughs> right, when I mean, you're going to, aren't you? Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the little ride out on the Street Triple RS. I certainly have. And uh, keep this, I'll keep you posted, but you never know. You never know. So anyway, if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit the like and take care. I'm now going to have some some more fun. Speak to you later. Bye.